Sam, it's me. Um, I was, uh, I know you're at Jen's wedding. I was just calling to wish her and you every happiness and to let you know I was thinking about you. Okay, bye. Oh, why did you just do that? That was so stupid. He doesn't want to hear about your good wishes. Why can't you take messages back? Hi, Troy. Hey. I had a uh, little break between patients. I figured I'd stop by and see how you were doing. I'm, uh... I'm fine. Good. So then maybe you'd like to have dinner with me tonight. Thank you. I, I, I just don't think that would be a good idea. Okay. Why not? I just don't. Look, Nora, Lindsay's the one that's in prison. So why are you the one punishing yourself? My not having dinner with you is me punishing myself? My, 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 we do have quite an ego, don't we, Dr. All right, that, that, that's, that's not how I meant it. Look, Nora, I just, I just want you to have dinner with me, that's all. Yes, yeah, so you said. I, I do get a say in this, don't I? Absolutely. But you've already told me you have feelings for me. Uh, yes, but I also said it wasn't that simple. Of course not. Which is why I haven't pushed things. I wanted to give you your time to sort things out. Well, I, I think I just, I need a little more time, that's all. Okay. okay. You know, Nora, I am not gonna hang in this limbo forever. Not when I know that you and I can have something great. We both know it's not the kind of guy I am. I go after what I want, and I do what it takes to get it. Oh, yes, you made that abundantly clear in your pursuit of Lindsay. I did what had to be done, and I would do it all over again if it came down to that. I heard a wonderful person letting you do what had to be done. Yeah, Sam. That's right, Sam. I hurt him more than I thought it was possible to hurt anybody. And I can't just blithely ignore that fact because you think I should. Nora, I'm not asking you to deny your feelings but for that, Sam. That's what it sounds like. You know what? I didn't want to be the one to tell you this. But if you and Sam were so committed to each other, then there's nothing that I or Lindsay or anyone else could do to tear the two of you apart. And that's the truth. Hi. Hey, congratulations. I heard the university dropped the charges against you. You must be so relieved. Oh, you can't imagine how good it feels. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No, no, no. It was a closed proceedings anyway. So, um, what about you? Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. I'm sorry about Sam. Me too. I guess you probably figured out that Troy was the other man that I was telling you about, so. The man you had feelings for. Yes, lucky me. Well, it sounds to me like he's got some pretty strong feelings for you, too. Yes, and he doesn't seem to want to take no for an answer. It's hard to hear no when you want to hear yes. Huh. So, have your feelings changed for him? No, but that doesn't matter. I can't act on them, you know. And he doesn't want to understand that, or doesn't seem to understand that. I hurt Sam terribly, and I can't go on hurting Sam, you know? And he doesn't understand that either. What? What's wrong? It's none of my business. Oh. I'm asking. Nora, it's your life. And, and what I think does not matter. You don't agree with me, do you? No, I don't. You do. How can you not 
not a great... The man lives in a fantasy life. He's not, he's not looking at things clearly. Him or you? What? From what I heard, the one who seems to be seeing things clearly is Troy. Uh. Dr. McIver, Troy. Claire, how you doing? I just wanted to tell you how thrilled the hospital is to have you back. Oh, well, it's good to be back. Just think, we have our own real-life hero on staff. <laughs> You've given Landview Hospital some priceless PR. Uh, you know what? That's great. But look, um, I got a ton of work to catch up on, so if you don't mind, I, uh... I knew you could never really have been interested in that Lindsay Rappaport. You're much too classy for a woman like that. Thank you for your vote of confidence. <laughs> I read everything about what happened. The lengths you went to to clear your brother's name of the worst charges against him, and the way you trapped that horrible woman into confessing. Yeah, look, uh... Clara, I really got to catch up on this work. Of course. It's what we pay you for, isn't it? Uh, but yeah. Perhaps we could continue our conversation over drinks. Say, 7 o'clock at my place. Ah, uh, wow. Hey! We're red-headed ladies! Leave my Dr. Troy alone! Hey, you, whose side are you on? It's not about taking sides, Nora. Just hear me out. Oh, I had to open my mouth and ask. Now, listen, you know that I adore Sam. Yes. You know that. And, and I hate the fact that you guys have broken up. But you're the one who thinks that Troy is seeing things clearly. From everything you've told me, Nora, you and Sam have been trying to get together for years. Yes. Probably too many years. Yeah, and it never seems to happen. Every, something seems to get in the way. You and Sam are, are both really great people. <laughs> I hear a but. But don't you think if you were really, really meant to be together, you would be by now? We were together. It was Sam and Matthew and me. We were together before all this business with Troy started. If that were true, then I think Dr. McIver was right. Nothing could have torn you apart. So now what? What, am I supposed to start dating Dr. McIver? No, I'm not gonna even go there. I mean, I don't even know the guy very well. But I'm just saying, what I do know is when I was trying to ignore the feelings I had for Antonio, it didn't work. And you were the one who helped me see that. Oh, great. Another piece of advice comes back and bites me in the backside. I discovered that if you have something in your heart, you have to find out what it is. You can't run away from it, and you can't feel ashamed of it because it doesn't match what you think you want. I love Sam. Yeah, and you probably always will. But you're not doing him or yourself or Matthew any favors by pretending you don't have feelings for Troy. I don't want to lose Sam, though. Nora, I'm sorry, but I think from everything you've told me that you already have. He's moved on, and you should too, for everyone's sake. Well, for everyone's sake, it's not fair to Matthew. Is it fair to Matthew to have a mother who's denying her feelings? My mother taught me a terrible lesson on how to deal with the pain of a failed relationship. And I think you can give Matthew a much better one. <sighs> you should have been a lawyer. You're very persuasive. <laughs> Nora, you are an incredible person. Oh. You deserve to be happy. Thank you. And that's why I hope that you can do what my mother couldn't. Stop regretting the past. Start looking to the future. And now they're doing it again. Spending more time with Jack and me. Should my heart be beating this fast? <laughs> well, I don't know. Let me take a listen.
Oh, yeah, I think that's perfectly normal. Oh. But let me give you a little piece of advice from personal experience, okay? Not liking your own brother can get you into a real mess. No, uh, I do like him. Sometimes. <laughs> well, that's good, because I am sure that your parents love you just as much as they love Jack. I'm not sure. Start. You are an amazing little girl. Why wouldn't your parents love you? I don't know. Maybe Jack did something that made them love him more than me. Let me tell you something. Your parents are very lucky to have you as a daughter. And I am sure that they know that. Just like I am very lucky to have you as a friend. You saved my life. Well, twice counting the creepy redheaded lady, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, young lady, are the most incredible little girl that I have ever known. Okay? You really think so? Oh, I really think so. And you know something else? You just be yourself. And if that's not good enough for other people, well, then that's their problem. And it's their loss, not yours. You're so smart, Dr. Chloe. He certainly is. Guess what? I just ran into Suzanne in the hallway, and she's looking for you. Isn't she always? <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe you better go find her, huh? I guess. See you soon, Dr. Troy. Oh, you betcha. Anytime. <laughs> but... <laughs> Bye. Bye. Looks like you've got yourself quite a pal there. Uh, yeah, she's a pretty amazing little girl. Look, uh, Nora, I'm not quite sure where you stopped by, but I got a ton of work to catch up on, so if you don't mind. Yes. OK, yes what? Yes, I would love to have dinner with you. Uh, I mean, if the offer's still on the table. Oh, I grabbed a burger on the way over here. I'm kidding. <laughs> I would love to have dinner with you. <laughs> <laughs>